Good morning. Today I want to fill you in on some new procedures that we're beginning pertaining to our routine dress code inspection that we conduct each and every morning. These procedures are new and will begin today, which is the first day of the second nine weeks. I said procedures and I'll clarify to mean the expectations and the requirements as far as your student handbook and the dress code policy have not changed. The expectations are the same, <clears throat> only the procedures are changing. Starting today, all first block teachers have been provided with three temporary IDs for every student enrolled in their first block class. During the dress code inspection, as they look for the proper attire, they will also look for the required identification badges. In the absence of an ID badge, they will have for you on the spot your temporary ID in the classroom in the form of a pre-printed label that you are expected to wear for the duration of the day. The teachers can provide that to you on the spot and it will minimize the disruption as we do our administrative sweep. Those temporary IDs will cost a dollar and each temporary ID that is used will result in a dollar fee being added to your student account. We will not be collecting money during first block for the temporary IDs. It will be your responsibility to purchase, to pay for your fees in the front office. Those temporary IDs will be assigned to your student account and a hold put on your record. We will be able to continue with class at that point and conclude at the end of first block with our routine administrative suite for dress code issues. However, when you have used all three of your temporary IDs, your name will be added to the dress code infraction slip, at which time you will be required to purchase and secure a new permanent ID. So please use your temporary IDs sparingly, keep them as a safety net and a reserve, and develop your own procedure to ensure that you know where your ID is and that you have your ID on to begin the school day and through the entirety of the school day. Teachers have been informed not to let students out of class without a hall pass, which is your planner, and a school student ID, a school issued student ID. So with your temporary ID, it will allow you to continue to have hall pass privileges. With your permanent ID, it will allow you to still have hall pass privileges. Without it, teachers have been required to not approve hall passes without a planner and a student ID. So please work to improve your procedures as we continue to improve the efficiencies of our procedures in regards to student ID badges. Thank you. Okay, I'm